Thank you for coming, everyone. Uh, the main focus of our group, the Jewish Voice for Peace, for years has been on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the horrific situation going on there. Uh, and in particular, on what we have come to realize is the U.S. policy that has enabled that situation to perpetuate itself to uh, with the occupation of the Palestinians and the lack of freedom, peace, and security for Palestinians and Israelis alike that the whole world would support, and most Israelis and Palestinians would too, has been, uh, has been uh, vetoed and, um, and prevented by U.S. policy in supporting that repression. And, and now we're seeing, staring us in the face, the much larger picture that this is going on not only in Israel-Palestine, but throughout the Arab world, the Mubarak regime was complicit in helping to maintain U.S. policy to keep the Palestinians from obtaining their freedom. And now we see that the Egyptian people, in a massive and peaceful way, are rebelling against that. And just as we've seen that it's been U.S. policy that has, has prevented the uh, possibility of peace and justice based on human rights and international law for Israelis and Palestinians, we realize that that's going on in many, many more areas, not only in Egypt, but also in, in Tunisia, and in many of, most of the other countries in the Middle East, in fact, where the U.S. is supporting uh, these dictators who are not allowing freedom and democracy for their own people. So it's uh, very clear to us that peace and security for any peoples in the Middle East and anywhere really depends on them having control of their own fates, of their own destinies, of being able to rule themselves. And therefore, we certainly support the uh, attempt to create that kind of democracy in Egypt. It's hard to tell how it's going to play out. There's a lot of factions. The opposition has been repressed. But it's very clear that without the advent of democracy in Egypt and every other country in the region, there's not going to be a future of peace and security for any of the peoples there. Thank you.